10.1b, factor common factors in grouping, factor a GCF. When we factor the GCF, we want to write as a product. In other words, we want it to look like this here, the A plus B plus C. This started out as something that looked like this, A plus B plus A, C. Okay, I misspoke that. A, A, B plus A, C. Notice that if we looked for the common factor here, A is our common factor. That's in the front here. What's left over is inside the parentheses. That would be our B plus our C. That goes right here. So in other words, we put the GCF in front and divide each term by, I'm going to kind of add this in here, by the GCF. And what's left goes into the parentheses. So in example one, the first thing that we want to do is find the GCF. So I look at my numbers, I have a 9, 12, and a 6, so it looks like my number part will be 3. They all have an X, so we will we'll have an X for the GCF, and my lowest exponent is 2. So 3X squared is my GCF. Now literally what we're doing here is we're dividing by this GCF. Now this is just scratch work, this is not part of the answer, um, and we really want to get so that we don't have to do that this way. We're going to um, use some mental math to get to our answer. Notice that I also had three terms here. My answer will inside the parentheses will have three terms. I'll have my GCF written on the outside and inside the parentheses will be three terms. If I had two terms, inside the parentheses I would have two terms. You'll have the same number of terms inside the parentheses as what you started with. Okay, so now here we go. We're going to take 9 divided by 3, which should be 3 x to the fourth divided by x squared, which gives us x squared. We have a minus sign, so I put a minus here. 12 divided by 3 is 4. x cubed divided by x squared is x. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and we had a plus in the middle between. And x squared divided by x squared is 1, so we don't write anything there this would be my answer. If I FOIL this back out or distribute, let's see if I can spell it. That's not looking right at all. Then I will should get what we started with. Okay, let's look at our second example. GCF, let's look at our numbers first, 21, 14, and 7. So I would say that they have a common factor of 7. I note that they all have A's. So A would be a common factor, and my lowest exponent is 2. So that will be our exponent for our GCF. They all have B's. My lowest exponent is 4. So our GCF then is 7a squared b to the fourth. Okay, so now we write that down. Put our parenthesis. Now here's where our mental math comes in. 21 divided by 7 
is 3. a to the fourth divided by a squared, a squared. b to the fifth divided by b to the fourth is b. Now we have a minus sign, so I'm just writing that down. 14 divided by 7 is 2. a cubed divided by a squared is a. b to the seventh divided by b to the fourth is b cubed. Then we have a plus sign. I write that down. 7 divided by 7 is 1. I only need to write 1 if I end up with no variables. a squared divided by a squared is 1 and b to the fourth divided by b to the fourth is 1. So it looks like I need to have a 1 here. Remember that if I have three terms to start with, I have to have three terms inside my parentheses. And I'm done. Always, if you're not sure if you have the right answer, distribute to make sure that um, you get the same thing that you started with.